About a year ago, around this time, I came up to Doverfjell and I'm here once again and also with my friend Tron and also some of his friends as well. So we're going up to photograph some muskox. We're making our way up this mountain. It's gonna take a couple of hours probably, but uh, this is gonna be a great adventure and we're gonna be out here for three days. So hopefully we're gonna get some really good images. But we're just gonna have to see what happens. But I'm really, really excited for this one. I think this time it's gonna be really good. This trip is taking quite a lot of effort. But little by little, little by little, we are making our way up but we still have to get up that mountain behind there. So there's still quite a long way to go. And uh, I'm still trying to get over a cold. So that's making a little extra difficult, but I know this is gonna be so worth it. So yeah, gotta go up here still, go around and get up to that side. So I think I'll speak to you again once I make it up there and we'll see what we end up finding. once I get to the top, but uh, yeah, this is taking a lot of work. We've still got to go up there. We're getting very close, but uh, the view here is absolutely exquisite. It's so beautiful and it's so calm. There's barely any wind right now, which is so great, but the work <laughs> of getting up, it is tough, but it's gonna, so worth it once I get up there. And another thing, some lunch. So I think once we get up there, have something to eat and then check out the muskox that are in the area. Oh, but yeah, let me just keep going. got to the top and there are I think about five muskox just lying down the hill there so we're not that far away from them uh, but I think what we might do I'm gonna look around a bit the other guys I'm with are checking some stuff out because apparently there's some more muskox down the valley there and some on the other side but they're probably too far to get to <clears throat> so what we'll do is probably just uh, explore the area a little bit take a rest and wait till that light gets really good and uh, seeing as the muskox are resting at the moment there's not much potential for photography anyway but uh, they will hopefully start getting up and stuff and then uh, can take some shots of them then that are out here are starting to move around a bit so it's kind of hard to actually vlog and talk while I'm trying to take the photos here. So what I'm gonna do is just uh, focus on getting the shots and uh, just enjoy what I can and then maybe tomorrow if I get the chance I'll try and vlog it a little bit more. I tend to kind of leave leave the first video 
It's quite a simple one. But uh, these animals are pretty awesome. This is our second day out here. It's really windy. And uh, so I'm actually hiding behind a rock right now just so I can get some cover, cover from the wind. And uh, it was minus 12 and we started coming up here as well. So I kind of figured out these gloves are actually not that good for these kind of temperatures. My fingertips have started to go purple. So I'm trying to warm up a bit more before I start taking some more photos again. But uh, there's about seven muskox now, just down there. On the, and uh, it's pretty awesome. Kind of hard to show you my smile right now, but I'm, I'm pretty happy to be up here either way, even though it's so windy and cold. But uh, what an experience, oh my gosh. The view up here is just stunning as well. It's so beautiful right now. So good. So at the moment, the muskox are just resting. Oh, but uh, wow. So happy to be here. Oh, so good. Two muskox out there that are kind of getting ready to headbutt each other. So they're just starting to back up now. Oh, this could be awesome. Oh, whoa, yes. <laughs> sure if this is going to be the best spot yet because when it comes to light um, well the sun's actually facing towards them which kind of helps but they're in like a little bit of a valley so they're getting it seems like they're getting a bit of shade on them but I think as the sun moves around in this direction we should be able to start getting some sunlight hitting directly on them which would be really great but uh yeah i'm gonna stick around here for a while and uh, just see if this is a good spot to be otherwise i'll <coughs> end up going back to the first spot
hope you enjoyed this episode. And uh, one more thing is this uh, video actually was sponsored by Artlist. So the music was all from Artlist. So if any are interested in using them, make sure to use the link I have below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.